Hello everyone, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session which is the module 5 of the Python series. If you haven't checked out the other sessions of this series, I'll give the link in the description box and you can check them out later. Also before moving on with the session, let me get a quick confirmation if you guys can hear me or not. So if I'm audible to you guys, please type yes in the chat box. And now that I'm getting a lot of confirmation, let's move on with our session and if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. Also check out Edureka's Python programming certification program. Link is given in the description box below. Now without any further ado, let's talk about what are the conditional statements that we have in Python guys. So conditional statements are nothing but you know statements that have a certain condition and only when the condition is met, the flow of the execution enters its block. Now to understand this logic, imagine you're going to enter inside a building. So the condition to enter inside the building is if you have an ID card. So if you have an ID card, you can enter the premises. If you don't, you are not allowed to go inside the premises. Either you have to leave or go to someplace else. So that is how the logic works in conditional statements. So in Python, we have if statement and we have else and uh, we have if else as well, which is known as LF statement in Python. So let's just go to uh, Jupyter Notebook and I'll give the heading over here as uh, conditional statements in Python. All right, guys. So for this, I'm going to explain what is if statement, what is else and what is elif statement. So right now, let's just talk about the if statement, guys. All right. So if statement is nothing but a statement which will have a prerequisite like a condition that has to be true only then execution will enter its block so let's say the condition is or let's say i have one variable let us give the value let's say 10 so if x is a uh, greater than or let's say equal to 5 so this right here is one condition until or unless it's true the execution will not move from here so if it's true we want to print it is greater all right so i think you understand guys that's how it works if the condition is true the uh, print statement is executed so what if the condition is false now okay we have no output for this because the penalty mate statement for this will be in the else statement right so when i say the penalty mate statement or the alternative So when x is equal to 10, the execution moves towards the block. So if x is not equal to 15 or not is equal to greater than 15, it will move to the next block, which is the else block. Here, it will print whatever it is in the block of the else statement. And the syntax is pretty clear, guys. You use the if keyword. After that, there comes the statement. And after the colon, you move into the ident block where you specify whatever you want to in your if block. Now let's say I want to check one more condition guys. So if x is greater than or equal to 15. If that is not true, I want to check that is else if. So that is my next condition that I want to check, which is x is equal to 15. Now I am going to print it as it is equal. So now it I'll just print it as equal. So and let me just get the input from the user only using the input method that we have. And I forgot to mention this in the earlier sessions uh, and you have been following the series. This is how you enter uh, input from the user at runtime. Right guys, so it's going to ask me to enter a number. So let's say if I write it as 15, the ideal output should be it is equal, but it is showing that it is greater. So let's see what we are doing wrong here. All right, guys, I think I have found the error. So we have two conditions here. So we'll just remove is equal to from here so that it will not be true if we enter 15 again. All right, so it is equal. So that is how you create a if else and else if a block in Python, guys. These are the conditional statements. This is a very basic example. So it is basically uh, trying to tell you if it's a greater number, it's or is it equal to the number or is it uh, not greater or less than the number that you have provided. 
So there's a very simple example of how we can use if and else if statement or else in Python. Now moving on to the next part where I would just want to show you how we can use nested if statements. All right. So I'll just use this uh, input variable. All right. So this is my input. After that, I have one if condition. So first of all, I want to check if x is greater than zero now and I'll have one more statement, but before that I'll write the penultimate statement which will say print less than zero or equal to zero. All right, so if it is greater than zero, now I want to check if x is actually greater than five. I will print as greater than five else if I want to check if X is less than five. I will print it as less than five or else if it's greater than five, it's uh, less than five. There's only one condition that is left, which is print equal to five now pay attention here guys so when i run this now the first condition is it has to be greater than zero to move inside this block so if i write zero over here the output will be less than or equal to zero all right so in order to move inside this if block i'll have to give one number that is going to be more than zero all right so if i give two the ideal output should be less than five which is less than five. Now, if I give the value as uh, let's say 16, it is greater than five. All right. And if I, if I give the value as five, it will be equal to five. So this is how if else if or nested if works in Python guys, I have created a if statement inside this and now you can create more uh, nested if here. So if I want to write, let's say if it's greater than five, I want to check if X is uh, less than 15. So I'll write it as less than 15. Else, I'll write it as more than 15. So this is just to show you an example, guys. First, it will show me that it is greater than 5, and after that, it will show me that it is more than 15. So this is how you create nested if statements in Python, guys. You can use else statement and all those other statements that you want and uh, I want to show you one more example guys where we will uh, have three input variables for three numbers so we'll have x is equal to all right so we'll copy this so we'll get three numbers from the user and then we are going to check which one is the greatest number right so if x is greater than y and x is greater than z all right we are going to print x is greatest all right guys so let me write just a number let's say 10 so x is 10 and y i want to be let's say 20 and this one is 30 so we don't have any output so when x is a uh, not the highest number we're going to move to the next block and we will check if y is greater than z and y is greater than x and we will print y is greatest all right guys so same numbers again so y is 20 we have we don't have any output again because y is not the greatest else we will assume that z is the greatest 10 20 and 30 so z is the greatest and when i run this again just to double check if i have made it correctly so let's say i have a uh, one uh, let's make x is equal to 20 y is 10 and z is 5 so x is the greatest then again i want to check if it's working for y as well so we'll tell y 
to be 30 and Z let's say 10. So Y is the grade S. So that is how you create a conditional statements in Python for various purposes. These are very basic examples. All right, guys, let's uh, talk about a few more examples uh, with this. So let's uh, make one program for, uh, you know, trying to check if a number is a prime number or not, right? To check if a number is a prime number, first of all, we have to make sure that it's it has to be greater than zero. That's one condition. So let's say x is equal to some number. We'll call it as 10 for now. So if x is uh, not equal to if x is not equal to zero, then we will move on to the next block, which is if now we are going to check if x is actually what is the remainder of x percentile two. If it is zero, then we know for sure that it is not a prime number. And if it's not, it is a prime number. All right, guys, since 10 is not a prime number, it is showing that 10 is not a prime number. Let's uh, check for three guys. So it is a prime number. Any other prime number that you know of, let's uh, try for 17. It is a prime number. Let's try for 31. Right, guys, it is a prime number. Let's try for 16. It is not a prime number. And let's try for 13 now. It is a prime number. So this is how you create a uh, different conditional statements to check for uh, various tasks that you can perform and you can actually take a uh, input from using the input function over here where you just enter a number and after you're done with this so you enter a number and it will tell you if it's a prime number or not so that is how easily you can uh, create uh, these conditional statements in python guys and mostly these conditional statements are useful when you're working with the loops such as for loop and while loop in Python. Now let's also take a look at how we can work with strings while working with the conditional statements. So what we'll do is we'll take a string or we can take another data type as well. So first of all, we'll just uh, work with strings and we'll take a look at uh, this name where we'll give the value as Python. Now what we want to check is if particular character let's say p in uh, name then we want to print success or we will resort to the penultimate statement where we'll just print no result all right so we have a success because p is actually in the name python over here which we have specified so this is how we work with the uh, membership operators that we have in python using conditional statements also we can work with uh, other uh, operators such as identity operators so let's just check if x is name so we can just uh, write success or instead of success we can create it to the original result which is true or false so this is how you can create the conditional statements that we have in python guys and instead of a string we can use any other data type so for this let me just uh, take a list where we have a range from 0 to 100 and we're taking the step as a uh, 10 now i want to check if 50 or let's say if 50 in name it's going to be true or if it's not it's going to be false so if i want to check for let's say 45 it will be false because there is uh, not going to be anything in the name which has a list and the range is from 0 to 100 and the step is 10 so the values will be 0 10 20 30 40 and so on so now that we are done with this session also let me just give you a quick exercise that you can do to practice this on your own so what i want you to do is i want you to write a guessing game program but for that there is a one prerequisite i want to tell you is which is uh, how you import a library or a predefined library in python it is nothing but you uh, use the key keyword import and after that you, you just import uh, random so what i want to do is i will uh, create a random number generator so using random dot random integer i can give values like 0 to 10 like we give in the range function as well so this is what i want my random uh, range to be where the in random integer will be in the range 0 and 10 so every time i print my number it will be in the range 0 to 10 but it will be a random number each time I execute it 
So what I want you to do is I want you to create a program where you will take the uh, input from the user and you will have a random number generator store it in a, another variable and depending upon the choices the user make I want you to make a guessing game. So as soon as the guess is correct, which means that the guess the user is giving and the random number generated is the same. That is when the user will win the guessing game and that is the game I want you to make and there is another program that I want you to make for this exercise, which is write a program to check if a number is a palindrome or not. So these are the two exercises for this session and now that we have come to the end of this session, I want you to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. Also check out Edureka's Python programming certification program. The link is given in the description box below. Thank you. See you in the next session guys.